YouTube, YouTube, what it do? Lil Petty coming back with another stock market episode. All right, y'all. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about this BYND short. We are looking to basically come. So basically right now, we're in the BYND short right now. I'm going to explain the short trade. We're lo- the, the stock market is trading right now. So let's go see what the stock is actually doing at this moment. <laughs> So the stock is collapsing right now. We got this gap down here to fill at 144. But what I'm looking at right now is actually, you guys know I like these crosses and these momentum trades. Now, we found some support down here at this 134. Now, if we're going to come back down and crack this 134, then I I believe that we're either going to touch this 125 or come all the way down to 108. Now, this stock also does remind me of, of Tilray. Just kind of how it traded, you know, went parabolic and it's pulling back. So if this stock does actually pull back, you know what I'm saying, down back to this $60, $50, $70 level, you know, this is going to be a short trade that, you know, it's going to be volatile. So we're going to see, we're going to see whip swing, we're going to see whip saws. But basically right now, I'm in the trade right now. We've been basically holding down this, um, man, I think this is the simple or exponential but this uh this 12 this 12 exponential and basically as you can see it's been holding it as a um as a resistance so basically right now i'm in the trade short right here i got in i got in just a little bit ago you know what i'm saying and we're basically looking to either come crack down here because this stock has been collapsing and we got this gap down here to fill of this to this 108 so my price target range is either going to be to lock in lock in my contract at 122 or 105 now i'm gonna talk about what strike i went out i actually went and um, this stock is actually going down so i'm up 50 bucks right now i bought the 120 september uh september 19th put the 120 put let's go to the option tab and show you guys what i was looking at so I'm like, okay, we're, we're over here looking, and uh, the puts are very expensive. The calls are cheaper right now. So basically, think people think that the stock is going to go down, and the implied volatility is on the put side. So you know, I'm basically going out farther because if the stock does come down, these are going to gain value. And as you can clearly see, I'm already up about almost 50 bucks if I was to sell right now. So let's look at that daily chart um, of the option. You know, so I'll probably be thinking... Maybe uh, locking profits at maybe six, seven bucks. You know, this could be a great trade. And if this gets in the money with 30 days, hey, you know, so I put um, I put one hundred and sixty five bucks in this trade. And basically my stop will be if we come above this one sixty, because that'll be, you know, but we need to close above this one sixty. Then I'll be like, okay, then I'll get out the trade and then I'll possibly try to find a short back up here at this 177 or wherever this simple moving average will be at at the time, probably like 170. So, because we got some support, we got some resistance up here. And BYND stock, you know, the, the earnings doesn't report for a while. So, this stock can come down. So, we've been focused on BYND stock. We're in the trade right now. Like I just showed you guys, um, I want to talk about the stock market. The stock market is crashing. Um, so we have this whipsaw action. Um, if we are going to come up here and then ride back up, you know, it's a possibility. But we do have this double bottom. So we're just we're just we're just watching out. Um, if spy comes up to this like 260, I probably maybe go short unless we get this cross. But that's not going to be for a while unless we just have a, a serious up up day that's going to blow us past these moving averages and all this overhead resistance. So. But um yeah, so let's look at the daily or the the five minute right now because the markets are trading right now, and I was looking. I'm like, yeah, we got a a, um, a lower high right here, and I was like, yeah, but I, I came over here to BYND today, and I actually bought I bought it when it was like right around here in this range, and like I said, I haven't been watching the stock market, so I kind of just come check in, you know, if I'm up in the morning today, I was so tired, I was like, man, I'm just sleeping, bro. So I was like, fuck that, I'm about to just sleep. So I woke up, you know what I'm saying, and I'm like, okay, cool, we got a little short opportunity. And yes, and now it's playing out in our favor um, as um, the day goes on. But like I said, this is a swing trade, so I'm looking to lock in profits 
if we are going to collapse back down on BYND stock. So as you clearly can see, we are on a downtrend. And on this one hour, we just got a bearish cross. So that's not looking too well. On the four hour, we are cross bullish, but overall, we are on a pullback. So this is um this is what's going on, you know. Uh, this is that shit. This is a five minute video. Um, let's see what what else is going on. Not not too much right now. Uh, McDonald's is is making their move. It's still like look. Let's go to one day. It is holding this support line. So comes down, test it. Expect for McDonald's to make an all time high coming up. I'd say soon. Whenever Spy is gonna have another update, McDonald's is gonna. McDonald's should be making a, another all-time high because this is a sleeper stock. A lot of people don't trade this stock. It moves slow, but look, it's grinded up from 170 to 220, you know? So these are swing trades that you can just, you know, hold through, buy some contracts, come to the McDonald's uh, options, you know, spend these 230s. These are one, these are a dollar 40, you know? You got, you got 60 days. McDonald's could be at 250. You know, 2.30. So, that's it for this episode, y'all. Um, like I said, I'm in this BYND short. Um, we're hoping that this trade is going to play out. The stock market is uh, going on right now. It's actually uh, cracking. It's, in, it's going in our favor right now. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm out. I got to get back to what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? I got my other little business going on. But I'm going to tap in with y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Lil Petty is gone.